The Central Corridor Transport and Trading Route through the port of Mwanza in Tanzania and Port Bell, Luzira, has attracted more cargo traffic. This is attributed to low cost, reliable service, and safety of cargo. Dennis Sigoa reports. Kiwango cha biashara na uwekezaji kati ya nchi zetu bado ni kidogo sana. We are also going to revive the water transport on the lakes. We must take stock of where we are, uh, what has worked, what hasn't worked. We must make it easier for people to do business in East Africa. There are challenges in crossing borders and there are challenges within the countries themselves. We are telling them that, look, there are other solutions, there are other alternatives that you can use to make more money. Since the resumption of cargo transport between the port of Mwanza in Tanzania and Port Bell, Uganda in 2018, World Food Programme has effectively utilized the route. WFP, a United Nations agency, is involved in humanitarian food supply in the East and Central African region. So when we move cargo via the Central Corridor, as already described, and the Southern Corridor, or the Central Corridor, uh, we bring it to our central warehouses, uh, which are located here in Kampala and also in Tororo. And from here, we move food, especially let me talk about food which we move to our beneficiaries, who are mainly refugees. We move food uh, to within the country, uh, serving uh, beneficiaries within the refugee settlement areas. But also, we move food to the other countries whom we serve as a corridor now, Uganda as a serving corridor. And I think for that, we prefer a multimodal system both uh, road, trucks uh, moving on road and then uh, using um, uh, wagons on the, on the lake and then again ferry and make sure that as long as we reach our uh, beneficiaries faster, cost effectively and efficiently. For us, that's the model that works. According to Uganda Railways Corporation, the numbers of importers and exporters on the transport and trading route are increasing. Uh, we have uh, roofings. For industrial products, we are taking Mabati to Mwanza as export. And uh, we have other clients uh, like Movit, whose cargo we also take uh, to Mwanza. The demand for water cargo transport has influenced the decision by the government agency to refurbish MV Pamba that has been out of service for over a decade. You can see MV Pamba is under repair. We are, the, the ships that are currently running we have MV Kawa and MV Uru. Pamba and Umoja are under the dock, under repair. And we expect MV Pamba to come off the dock by end of January uh, next year. The multimodal system on the Central Corridor is proving to be cost effective to the UN World Food Programme. Currently, Uganda Railways Corporation charges $22, an equivalent to about 88,000 Ugandan shillings per ton on the Mwanza Port Bell Road. We managed to reduce cost, which mainly was by road, which was the Northern Corridor and the Southern Corridor, uh, from about an average of $120 per metric ton to $64 per metric ton. So that is a very big saving. And what happens when we have a big saving like that? It means that now we can serve more uh, people who are in need of uh, food assistance from ourselves. Our main focus areas are mainly three. One, uh, to reach our, our beneficiaries, the people we serve, much faster, efficiently and cost effectively. And using the multimodal systems I've mentioned with our very developed logistics and warehousing systems, we do, quite that, uh, we do that quite easily. The other one is uh, to ensure that we support our, the local economy by purchasing food from the local farmers, uh, traders, as well as local processors. For example, this year, by end of August, we had already purchased uh, close to about 94,000 metric tons, uh, injecting into the economy of Uganda about 33, 33 million US dollars. Besides the millions of dollars saved annually, the seamless operation ensures cargo safety. We carried 22 wagons on board, and we have got 17 wagons loaded with World Food Program, SOGAM. We would have been here much earlier, maybe on Thursday. Unfortunately, we got to the other side when these wagons were not yet cleared. We had to wait for the papers for an extra three days. Despite the rosy picture about the transport corridor, a few challenges, though, do exist. And this calls for urgent response from the relevant authorities in Tanzania and Uganda.
the challenges uh, sometimes may come uh, with customs um, at the borders. Different countries may have uh, different customs requirements. That may cause a bit of delay. By revitalizing the Central Corridor Transport and Trading Route, Tanzania Ports Authority and other key stakeholders expect Ugandans, especially the business community, to fully utilize the port and boost cargo traffic. In my background is MV Car, operated by Uganda Railways Corporation. It has just finished a 17-hour journey from the port of Mwanza in Tanzania and is docking right here at Port Bell, Ruzira. Denis Igor for UBC Business.